right, I'm gonna give you a tour. Don't mind the crazy hair look. All right, this place, it's a little old school. It's a uh, historic. It's fancy, maybe too fancy for me. So here, I'm gonna take you on a tour. Um, you ready for this? Walk in. Nice art. You have a closet. Yeah. And then, and it smells old in here, which is cool. All right, I think that this is the, the room. Let me show you the view. This is the view. I guess Charleston, downtown Charleston. Crazy, by the way. All right, so this is the room. You wonder how fancy this place is? How I'm balling right now? Look, not only do I have one small bathroom, I have two small bathrooms added together. That's one large bathroom. So yeah, living large in Charleston. Good morning from Charleston, South Carolina. Still look like a Furby. Um, getting ready to leave. That was actually a pretty comfortable bed. Not gonna lie, comfortable. Uh, I did take a shower in my bathroom closet. Call it closet, it's not a bathroom. It's a bath closet. Uh, and now I'm going to go for a nice little walk to see the, the battery, I think that's what it's called. About a mile away. Walk there, back, and I'm gonna go eat some barbecue. I'll see if I can do some more video stuff on the way and hopefully people don't look like I'm crazy. Town, still walking, trying to find the battery. I think I'm almost there. I'm tired already. Oh well. Made it to, I guess this is called the battery area. Oh, nice little park. I think the actual battery is a little bit farther down this way. But it's still alive. And I just called the barbecue place and apparently on Saturdays there's lines at the door that usually wait for about 30 minutes. So, yay. Also, I just realized that um, I don't really know what a battery is. So I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. I may have, I may have already found it. But I, I have no idea. I think, I think I know what the battery, I don't, I don't know. I'm just walking around like a goober. Ooh, there's some protest stuff over here. I'll have to get video of that. This is gonna be good. Stay tuned. Some protesting here. We got the Black Lives Matter, and then on the other side, I'm not really sure. I see better flags. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm in search for Rainbow Row. I think I know where it's at. Not too far from where I'm at. I am walking. I will get a video of it for you when I get there. Um, I am safe. I did not uh, join in the protests or get uh, accosted in any way. I did have an old guy sit back next to me on a bench and start talking to me. Um, he was obviously for, uh, uh, I would put this delicately, um, he was old and white, so that was fun conversation for sure. Feels really good out. Nice and windy, nice breeze, nice weather. There's a little bit of battery area. On my way, search for Rainbow Road. Cool shoes, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, dramatic reveal. I found Rainbow Row. Go. Boom. That's neat. It's kind of just houses with different colors. I mean, it's cool. Didn't change my life or anything, but you know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah. Now I say I've seen it. Huh. Right. You know. Just Darius Rucker in a car. Good old booty. Yep. 
No big deal. Okay. That might be a while before I get in. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Got the food. The place is packed. So I'm eating in my car like a freaking weirdo. Do not judge me. And also don't judge the amount of food I ordered. I, I had to go all out because I, I had to. All right. So creeper. All right. So let's see here. Ooh, I got an order of the banana pudding because yes. On my sides, the mac and cheese. All right, all right, that looks normal. All right, first thing, all right, here we go. This is the bread. Ah, this is the pulled pork with some hush puppies and sauce and butter, I assume. Those are some big hush puppies, all right. So that's that. Now, other thing, the last thing that's in here is only a pound of ribs. Yeah. Sorry, I got too excited for that. All right. Um, let me eat this stuff and then I will uh, do another video um, with my uh, thoughts. Can you hear me? So, first review of the, the uh, they call the whole hog barbecue plate, right? So, the pulled pork without the sauce, so just by itself, I give a six out of ten. I, I, maybe because I built it up a little bit more in my head, I was expecting a little bit more flavor, the, a little bit more of a smoky flavor. It was just very uh, um, unremarkable. It was good, but not as good as I was expecting. So six out of 10, you, you put their sauce on it, uh, maybe bumps it up to an eight out of 10. Still delicious. The Hush Puppies, that's a solid nine out of 10. And a little, like a honey butter with it, man. So those, they're big, it's crispy, soft, sweet. Uh, Hush Puppies are the bomb. Um, I still got the mac and cheese, banana pudding, and about a pound of ribs uh, to, to eat. So uh, stay tuned for that review. Mm. Okay, well. Mm. I finished most of everything. Mac and cheese, banana pudding, and the ribs. All right, I'm going to start with the mac and cheese. A 7 out of 10. No reason. It just just feels right. Seven out of ten. Um, uh, banana pudding. Good. Nine out of ten. Uh, it's also banana pudding, so it's hard to screw that one up. It's also hard, I think, to make banana pudding like remarkable. So it's like it's how do you jazz it up? How do you make it? How do you elevate banana pudding? So nine out of ten seems fair on that. It was, it was good. Now the ribs. <clears throat> How do I put it? I don't think I would have waited. I don't think I'd wait again an hour in the line again for the pulled pork. But I would for the ribs. The ribs were delicious. Didn't finish them all. Keeping them right in here. A little goodie bag. For me to eat when I get home. And now I'm heading back to Raleigh. Hopefully I don't enter the food coma while I'm driving. Mm hmm. Fingers crossed.